Hello, and it's a fabulous Friday. It's Kimberly here at Mother Me Beautiful. Working from my living room, I am up and about a little bit more every day after my procedure here and just wanted to give you a quick shout and, and just share a few thoughts on depression. Depression is really hard and thankfully has gotten um, quite a bit of press lately. Um, you know, there are different types of depression. There's clinical depression, there's situational depression, right? Situational depression or um, things that are more situational or they're, um, you know, people aren't going to be cheerful when they're going through really difficult things. And um, they're transiently um, sad or depressed because things aren't going very well. That's different from a clinical depression. Um, or where, you know, somebody has a genetic predisposition um, to depression um, because of, you know, different chemical balances in the brain. And that's really difficult to poly Pollyanna yourself um, through your neuronal and chemical imbalances. Um, and I think sometimes depression is hard because it affects everybody in that person's circle. And, you know, our family, we have quite a bit of depression in our family. And it's really tough um, to watch people that you love go through depression. And um, sometimes it's tempting to um, have an attitude like they should buck up and Pollyanna themselves through that. And it's a little tougher than that. That being said, there are some things that we can do to help with depression. And, and things that... Um, Certainly, if you have a loved one who's struggling, there are certain things that you can do to help them and especially to take care of yourself because you're no good to them when you go down that same rabbit hole, right? And the caveat here is to really be um, acutely aware of danger signals that would warrant a 911 call or, or a visit to the doctor or even a trip to the ER. Um, when somebody's world becomes so dark that they can't see a way out and you're worried about them hurting themselves, then you need to protect them and you need to get them some help and emergently. Um, and that's a tough spot to be in, I know. And it's scary because there's still a stigma around depression, but it's an illness. Uh, most frequently it's an illness and it's treatable. Um, it's really important to treat it as such. That being said, it's important to take care of yourself. If you're trying to help somebody with depression, make sure that you're taking good care of yourself. It's easy to take it personally and ask, you know, what did I do to make this person depressed? Don't they love me anymore? How come they're not happy with me? That doesn't have anything to do with it. And you're being sad or being judgmental or trying to figure out why um, doesn't help. I'm not a psychologist, so I can't offer that kind of help. But one thing I do know, as a nurse, as a personal coach, and as a mom and a wife, and um, having uh, uh, been through some dark times myself, uh, is that when we focus on the things we have control over, that's where we have the greatest power. We get the greatest bang for our buck, right? So we practice good self-care. And studies have shown that when people do the things that they would do, if they weren't depressed, they can actually change some of those chemicals in their brain. And it's not going to cure depression, right? But if you're going through a hard time, then, you know, think about the things you have control over. A few little tricks that I've learned are my number one tool is when things are bad to get out of my own head, right? Or get out of my loved one's head. Quit trying to figure them out because I can't, right? But I can focus on other people and I can love and that fuels me up. That might not work for you, but one of the reasons I love nursing is because it really helps me focus on other people. You go into somebody's home or you're offering some help, you're taking somebody a meal, they can't cook for themselves, they can't turn themselves over in bed, they can't wipe themselves, right? They're really sick or they're suffering in their pain and you take a minute to get out of your head and you try to make their day better. I guarantee you it'll make you feel better. Quit worrying about yourself and focus on other people. Serve. You might not feel like it, right? But if you get out there and you serve other people, it's really hard to be depressed 
when you're giving service and you're truly loving yourself when you put yourself on the side and you try to make somebody else's day a little bit easier you try to lift somebody else's burden a little bit it will help maybe not if you have clinical depression but if you're going through a tough time get out of your own way and go serve somebody else a long long time ago before I knew <laughs> why I was doing what I was doing when my brother was killed uh, I was in the Coast Guard at the time and I was stationed back in Boston and I had gotten I just knew that I needed to do something because I was dying inside every day I was dying inside and every time I'll, I'll tear up just thinking about it but every time I went into Kmart of all places I felt good here they had their cheerful little people standing on the end of their corner asking if I needed help to me that was just beautiful <laughs> it might sound pathetic but it was beautiful they were happy in there they all were smiling they had a great sales team and I just knew I wanted to be in that space because I was dying inside that poor girl that interviewed me I went in for it to uh, um, apply for a part-time job and I was full-time military and I'm sure she was going what the heck is this girl doing and she asked me she said what makes you want to work here and I told her I says I'm dying inside I come in here and your staff is so friendly I just want to be in their space I just want to learn how to be happy doggone it she hired me on the spot crazy lady and I had a beautiful time there met some wonderful people that I still keep in touch with today hi Jason Varney um, just beautiful things happened there. I met people who would come through my line who had lost children, holidays, and I'd say something like, Merry Christmas, and they'd say, or I'd say, how was your Christmas? And they'd tell me some terrible thing happened. And I would just stop and come around and hug them. It was beautiful. And I made lasting friends. They must have thought I was crazy, but I had a great time at Kmart. And it really helped me get through a tough time. And that was when I started to see the beauty in forgetting about yourself. I learned as a young divorced mother whose world had crashed and had absolutely no self-esteem and felt worthless and loveless that when I focused on other people, doggone it, I built a whole circle of friends and my whole world changed. When I tried to go out of my way to make other people feel important, totally changed my world and it did ease my burden. As a nurse going in and loving on people, helping them through really dark times, it's humbling. That's crazy. I love what I do. I love helping people. And selfishly, it helps me feel good. If you're having a tough time, get out of your way and go focus on somebody else. I beg you. It really does work. Loving other people, serving other people. Um, really powerful. Fake it till you make it is another one of my favorite mottos. Turn on some music. Dance. It's really hard to do when your world is black. It's hard to pretend you're happy when you're not. But pretend even just five minutes a day studies show that it does work as a matter of fact in the medical community there's a sign that we look for it's especially helpful in women because it's so obvious but when a woman begins her recovery and she starts to feel better after a serious illness we can tell because she starts asking for her lipstick it's called the makeup sign funny how that is when we feel good we tend to want to look good well the obvious the opposite is true too if you don't feel good, put on a little makeup, ladies. Do your hair. Get out of bed. Get dressed. Get moving. Pretend. And it does help. I'm not going to say you're going you're gonna, to you know, cure depression for all mankind. But do what you can do to make your world better. One thing I know is God wants you to be happy. The people that you love want you to be happy. And they possibly desperately need you to be happy to help them. When you turn your light bulb on... That light radiates to everybody in your circle. Do what you can to make your world a little brighter. Make your space a little brighter. It won't just bless you. It'll bless other people. If you need help, get help. Don't be so proud or so ashamed that you go get help. There is no shame in depression. They're just, they're, it just is what it is, and we got to get through. The world sometimes is heavy, and sometimes it's heavier for some of us than others lighten each other's load, be a little kinder, be a little softer, and I wish you all the best. Bye.